uh, as you have discussed about the first visit monte carlo previously now we will be discussing on what is every visit monte carlo and how to estimate a value function using every visit monte carlo so in case of every visit monte carlo uh, what we would be doing is that whenever we are encountering uh, that particular state we would be taking up a uh, reward function summation from that point onwards throughout the episode so for let's ex- understand from an example as we have already discussed this particular uh, problem statement where we have given two episodes uh, now what we need to do is that in case of every visit monte carlo assume that we are calculating the value function for a so the first visit for a is here so we would be calculating all the rewards we are getting from this point a 3 2 -4 4 -3 now uh, we are now in the second point we are again getting an a so we would be now uh, taking the summation from this particular point 2 -4 4 -3 we are again encountering an a at the fourth state so we would be considering the reward here also plus 4 minus 3 as you can see uh, we are getting three instances in the same exam in the same episode for a so uh, whenever we are encountering an a we will be considering that reward and the, all the remaining rewards coming from that so uh, it was the first a this was the second a, and this was the fourth is a that we got and eventually the total reward equals to equals to 2 Similarly, in case of second episode, you can say there is just one A. So the reward is plus 3 minus 3 equals to 0. Now, as you can see that uh, here there would be a certain changes because in case of a first visit Monte Carlo, what we were doing is that we are take record, we were uh, uh, submitting all the reward, uh, the total reward we are getting from an episode and dividing by total number of episodes. Now, in case of every visit Monte Carlo, we will be considering uh, the rewards we are getting after each A and divided by the total number of uh, occurrences of the particular state. So here, as A has occurred four times in the two episodes, so the uh, the total uh, the value function for A would be estimated using this formula. We would be uh, getting the summation for uh, each reward that we are getting after A. So we have got three instances in first episode and one instance in second episode divided by total number of A's that we have got equals to four equals to zero point five. Similarly, in case of calculating a value function b, uh, in the first example, we are having 2b coming in. Uh, minus 4, plus 4. Uh, so the first reward would be minus 4, plus 4, minus 3. That would be minus 3. The second reward would be minus 3 because it is the last state. Uh, in the case of second episode, we are getting uh, 2 b's minus 2, plus 3, minus 3. And again, the last state is b equals to minus 3. So if you look uh, how we are estimating for uh, value function b, so in the first episode, we are getting two instances. So we are adding uh, all the rewards we are getting after that particular episode equals to uh, minus 6 here. And in case of episode 2, uh, we are getting a reward minus 2 and minus 3 respectively as you can uh, as you can see. Minus 2 plus 3 minus 3 equals to minus 2 for this particular for this first B and for the last B it is minus 3 because it is the last state. Now again as I told you that uh, we will be dividing by the total number of B's that we have encountered in the total episode. Uh, so it is 4. So again, the reward for value function B equals to minus 2.75.